Hey what's up guys it's your man JB here and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the best way to fix and sort out this real ugly crack in the stair skirting. Now this is a real common issue and I've seen this a lot so don't panic your house isn't falling apart but it is ugly and we do need to fix it. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you the best way to make it look 100% oh yeah. So we really have got some nasty cracks going on up here as you can see particularly there look at that that's pretty bad isn't it it's not the worst I've seen got to be honest but it's not good so we've got to get it fixed right then this is the worst bit cleaning it up we've got to get all this old filler and cork out of here it's going to be quite messy there is a lot of cork in here and what somebody's done which is uh, I find really annoying is when there's a crack or something like this someone will just get a load of cork and just try and put it down that crack but as you might be able to see here where it's got dirty over time it just looks a real mess where the cork hasn't been cleaned up and it's literally been left just to sit there you can just scrape it off either side of the crack already so um, yeah it's going to be pretty messy we're going to clean that up take it all out it's probably going to make a bit of a mess on the wall as well I've got a couple of scrapers so let's get on with it Now with this small bit done already you can get a really good idea the uh, state of it and how much filling is going to be involved. Now what I'm not going to do which looks like was done before is put a load of cork in there. That's a much too big a gap to put cork in. Well I suppose you could get away with it but it's just going to be such a, a real rounded finish. And by the time it's painted as well, the paint's got to go on top. Um, you're not going to get a straight line between the wall and the skirting. Now, I'm just painting the wall white and the skirting white, so it doesn't matter too much. But this is emulsion and this is going to be a satin wood. And although the colour's the same, the finish won't be the same. So if you go on here with satin or on here with emulsion, it's not going to look great. So what I want to achieve is a nice sharp corner finish. I might put a little bit of cork in there, but certainly not as much as was in there before. Filler and uh, we're left with a pretty big gap. 
feel that there's some of the cork from there. Um, this is a dry lined wall, which means there is a cavity between this plasterboard and the wall behind. Now what you can see here is that the plasterboard has basically been fixed above the stair skirting with a rather large gap, <laughs> um, which obviously they thought would be a good idea to stick a load of cork in. So one of the issues we have got is putting a bit of filler in there, it's just going to drop. You'll mix it up, put it in, and even if it does stick initially, it's got the, you know, it is likely that it is just going to drop and have to come back and do this again. If this had been a brick wall, then there would be no big gap there, there'd be no cavity. So you could quite easily go ahead and fill it with some easy fill or plaster repair, something like that. But because we've got this large gap, I'm going to have to do something about that. And it's called expanding foam. So the other issue I've got here is the fact that the foam just drops into that cavity. So I've really got to try and keep it tight onto the edge of the plasterboard and the timber. But remember this stuff does expand so ideally I wouldn't have as much coming out here but I have to squirt it close to the edge otherwise I'm just not going to be able to fill that gap. Now just remember when you're applying this expanding foam it does expand to about 50 to 75 percent of the amount that you put in there so don't go crazy because it just comes out like <laughs> now that that foam has gone off and is nice and hard and dry we can start cleaning it up now i'm going to use a scraper here which is a uh, rather sharp so um yeah, either a scraper or something similar, but the thing I love about this, it's so sharp, I can just literally slice it like this, and that's going to come away like that. So, uh, shouldn't take too long. Let's get cracking with that all the way up. So I've got all the expanding foam off now, which is really good. And as you can see, it doesn't completely fill the gap, as in it's not completely flush with the wall. There's quite a few gaps, but that's perfect because what I can now do is fill that with some easy fill or plaster repair. But just before I do that, I'm just going to go over this surface here with a bit of 80 grit sandpaper. just to scratch the surface of the paint and to get any last bit of expanding foam or cork that I haven't quite got off yet. Fantastic, I've sanded all the skirts in now and that's all feeling relatively smooth uh, and giving it a brush down so it is dust free. What I'm going to do now is mix up some filler and I'm using this Bartoline patching plaster, pretty good stuff this, dries really hard and uh, really good for this kind of a job. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get some of that mixed up and then I can start getting it in the gap and it's going to start looking pretty good. Here we go then, I've got some of my 
plaster repair mixed up and uh, start getting it in. All the fillings done I just got to wait for that to dry now but already it's looking pretty good and as you can see it's really filled in that gap so once that's dry I can give that sand and then I can get a little bit of paint on it before I recork it fantastic the filler is now dry so I'm going to go ahead and use a bit of 120 grit sandpaper now this won't take a lot of sanding because it is already very flat to the wall um, but there is just a little bit of excess here and there, so just the lights and get it all nice and smooth. I've just finished all the sanding and without a glove on obviously having a feel down there that is absolutely superb I've got a really clean crisp edge or corner here and uh, that's so good it's not going to need corking now initially I thought I was going to put a little bit of cork in there because I wasn't sure whether the uh, plaster repair was going to be absolutely you know give me this real kind of sharp corner but it has so I'm probably not going to cork it so what I need to do now is get a little bit of undercoat on there and uh, undercoat primer and then we're good to go sorted so just check that out look how good that looks absolutely brilliant so there is absolutely no need to put any cork on that because there's just no gap and it's an absolutely perfect finish however if you did get to this stage after filling it and priming it if you do see a few small gaps here or there, then now's the time, well, not right now because the paint's wet, but once the paint's dry, now is the time to cork it. And you can just run a little bit of cork up there, just fill in those little gaps, and then you're ready to paint. So all that's left to do here is to put some more emulsion on the wall, up to the skirting line, and sort out the woodwork up the stairs.
<laughs> I'll save that for another day. But if you want to check out a video on how to prepare skirting for painting, then click right here, right now, and uh, you can go check that out. Go on, it's definitely worth watching. I'll stick a link at the end of this video as well. Well, I hope this video has helped and uh, given you a bit of an idea on how to sort out your stairway skirting boards. Because they do crack and they do need sorting. Go and do it right now, go on. If you're liking my videos and the content, guys, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? That'll be fantastic. Right then, I'm going to tidy up and make myself a cup of tea. I'll see you real soon.